where we are getting an up close look at the damage from yesterday's storms. Uh, Claire Kopsky is live in one Rock Hill neighborhood tonight, just off Saluda Road near Mount Holly Road. Claire, what are you seeing right now and what stories are neighbors telling you? Well, Dedrick, you're not going to believe this. It looks like it might as well be in the freezing temperature outside because it looks like I'm standing in a pile of snow. But if you get up close, you can see that there's nearly golf ball size hail that is still here nearly 24 hours later. This was shocking to us as we drove up this evening, but I wanted to show you over here more of this damage of what we've been seeing. That hail is what damaged so many of the homes in this neighborhood. You can see up here just chunks of this siding taken out. And this is what most homes in this neighborhood look like tonight. Look over here, fences completely blown out, torn out, and that is basically all the way down the middle section of this where backyards face each other. We're in a neighborhood that's about 10 minutes south of Rock Hill. We've been here on Constance Way. This neighborhood looks like it's been through a battle with how this hail has just and the wind has taken apart so many people's exteriors of their homes. Parts of roofs are torn off, windows shattered, and like I said, those chunks of the siding. The debris is spread out all over residence yards and the damage was caused by that extreme wind and that downpour of hail that sounded like what residents said, nothing like they've ever heard before. They started out with various like small pellets but then they got larger and larger and more and more forceful. And that's when we really felt the damage being done because we could hear the glass, front glass breaking. Um, and then we came outside, it looked like snow out here. It was completely white. I mean, I've never, and it was before that, it was completely sunny. So it was very, very terrifying for all of us. As we were driving into this neighborhood, trees are completely uprooted. Very, very big damage in the side of roads from tree damage. And like we said, just as you continue to go house after house in neighborhoods like this one, the damage is going to take weeks, if not months, to get repaired. Tonight at 11, we'll have much more stories from the people who were here in their homes and heard it come through, and also hear how these neighbors have been helping each other get things cleaned up this afternoon. For live in Rock Hill, I'm Claire Kofsky, WBTV, on your side. Wow, just unbelievable there, Claire. We'll be looking for your story tonight at 11. Thank you.